going on guys? Curly Susie here from Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. In today's quick video, I'm going to update you on um, curly hair, hair gel, fitness related stuff, my new job, the comedy series that I'm in, um, and just a little bit of personal stuff. And I'm going to try to just touch on everything very quickly because otherwise this video is going to be an hour long. Um, but I haven't made a video in over a month. It might even be closer to two months now. And I have had a lot going on. So I just wanted to update you on my channel and kind of what's been going on and why I disappeared again for a while and all of that. So uh, I'm going to start with uh, hair related stuff because that's what a lot of you guys are here to see. So obviously right now I have straight hair and um, it wasn't my intention to have straight hair for this video, but I did some promotional stuff for the comedy series that I'm in on the weekend. And my character wears a long burgundy wig. And so um, in order for me to get my wig to stay on my head without having like a bump on the top or the bottom, um, and I can't find any of my wig caps, I just had to put it on my hair. In order for that to work really well and look real, I have to straighten my hair to get the wig to sit really flat on my head. Um, and then I just straighten my hair and I leave my natural hair down under the wig and I know that's really unconventional but it works really well for my character and I found that the hair looked really real. So I straightened my hair almost a week ago now and it's still straight. Um, and the only reason it's like curled at the bottom is because it got a little bit damp. But I actually prefer the way this looks um, to having like pin straight hair. Um, and I will leave my hair like this for seven to ten days. And I know that you guys probably think that that is just crazy. <laughs> but it just goes to show you how dry my hair and my scalp are. Um, because I can honestly leave it that long. Even if I exercise, I can leave it that long. Um, and I don't have any oil. One thing that I do notice with my hair straight is that you can tell how much gray I have now. Um, so I have quite a bit of gray. I typically box dye my hair because I'm cheap. I use something that has like no bleach in it and I try to use something that's a little bit more gentle. Um, but I just haven't been doing it. So like this top part of my hair is my natural hair color plus gray. And then the bottom is dark where most of the color deposits. So I'm going to go... Um, and get my hair colored professionally. And that might include some highlights or something just to lighten up the bottom of my hair a bit so it's closer to my natural hair color. So that's kind of what's going on with my hair today. Uh, what's going on with my hair in general is it's long. So I cut my hair super short like two years ago and it's already like, like pretty long. I know I have a black shirt on so it's hard to tell but it's pretty long. I definitely, without a doubt, prefer my hair long. It's fun to cut your hair short it's not that I'm telling you not to do it because it was like a thrill for me and I enjoyed it for a period of time. But then if you ultimately want to have long hair, you have to go through that really long in-between stage. And I cut that short by not trimming my hair. So that's one thing about the curly girl method and about not using heat on your hair um, is that you can go a long time without trimming your hair because you're not doing anything that promotes damage. So I was really, really strict on the no straightening and the no heat, and I barely even used a diffuser. I was deep conditioning my hair. I was doing all of the things in order to keep my hair healthy. And as a result of that, I went from having like a super short haircut to having long hair in less than two years. So that worked out really well for me. Um, I would say that I straighten my hair like this. Now that my hair is healthy, maybe four times a year. Um, and that's okay. And why do I not straighten my hair more often? Now that I'm not like super duper committed and like sold to the curly girl method, my honest answer is just that the less I straighten my hair, the healthier my hair is and the easier it curls. Um, and I prefer to have healthy curly hair that is relatively wash and go. So the more I straighten my hair, the more manipulation it takes for my hair to curl 
um, and especially the ends of my hair, the less curly it is. So I try to limit my straightening still, even though I'm not like super strict, like die hard curly girl method anymore. I still don't straighten my hair very often, but it's not that I don't like my hair straight, I do. I just don't like the long-term consequence of straightening my hair all the time. So that's all I'm gonna say about, again, about my hair right now and about curly hair. Um, one big like hair related thing that is happening that a lot of you have brought to my attention is that they have discontinued BioTerra gel. This, <laughs> like I shouldn't be as upset by this as I am, but this is like devastating to me. And I'll tell you why. Um, if you don't really know me and know my channel and you're kind of new, like I'm not like a real influencer. I don't really do a whole lot of promotional material. I mean, I dabbled in it, so there's a couple of videos here and there that are very blatantly ads for companies, but very rare did it ever have anything to do with hair products. But you would think that I'm promoting this BioTerra gel or they're paying me because I just talk about it so much. I show it in all my videos. Um, like I call it my holy grail product and all that. All of that was so sincere and so genuine. It was one of the first products that I ever purchased um, when I decided to go back to having curly hair and I have yet to find a gel that I like more than that. So over the next few months, my mission is to trial some gels. So I will be making um, a gel related video. Basically, I'm gonna try all the gels and I'm gonna talk about how they worked on my hair and I will show uh, little video clips of what my hair looked like with the different gels and what I liked about them, what I didn't like about them, and I'll talk about the smell and the price and all this and that. Um, just to kind of save you guys some money and save you guys some trial and error. And because I am genuinely looking for a new product. So if any of you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comment section below um, and I will be making a video and you will know that it is not sponsored. I may reach out to companies and ask them to send me free gel just so I don't have to spend a bunch of money, um, but I am not going to promote something that doesn't work really well on my hair and that I don't think will work well for you or that like something that's like too expensive, hard to get, blah, blah, blah. Unfortunately, we're going to be going back to a period of time where my videos are very infrequent and um, I apologize to those of you that really love my channel. And again, I'm like so humbled by this and I appreciate it so much. And I understand because there are certain people that I follow on YouTube that I really just like their personality and I like their channel and I look forward to their videos. So if you feel that way about my channel, then I am sorry that I am kind of like hit and miss. I'll go through periods of time like I did this summer where I'm making videos all the time and then I have periods where I make no videos. And the main reason for that is that this is not what I do as a career. It's kind of like a hobby for me. Um, and it's going to be increasingly difficult because I recently took a new permanent full-time job uh, at the hospital where I work. And I'm super proud of myself. It's kind of like a step up for me. It's a management job. So I'm the quality leader for perioperative services, which is basically like surgery and surgical services for like a whole zone, a whole Eastern zone. So that's Cape Breton um, and then another large hospital that's on the mainland. Um, and so like, I'm super proud of myself. It, took me a lot of work. It's something that I've been working towards for a really long time. It's like the perfect job for me because um, I get to promote quality and patient safety. I get to do little bits of education. I'm doing research. Um, I'm working as part of a team. Um, and it's just really rewarding. So I got this new permanent job. It's a lot of work. Um, and it's full-time hours. So before I used to work three days a week and then I did YouTube on the side and was a mom. Um, and that was more than enough to take up my time. So now I find with my kids being in school full-time and daycare, I have a lot more free time. So I took on this full-time job um, and I will be doing little bits of YouTube and I also am doing some comedy now. So I am working as an actor in a comedy series that's on SwearNet, which is like 
I don't have time to talk about it in this video and you've heard about me you've heard me talk about it before but it's um it's like a dream come true it's like you know when you have this like dream like I don't know if somebody's watching this if you know like in your heart that like you think like you're like I'm a good singer and I would really just it's just my dream to sing in front of people and it's something that you always kind of think about you never pursue and maybe an opportunity comes up like kind of serendipitously for you to be able to do something like that and maybe you never chase that dream or whatever but like I've always really really wanted to do something like this my parents are comedians um, and I really uh, love the other actors and the people involved in the show. I just have to let my cat in. I can hear him meowing one sec. The show happens in the summers. We shoot in the summer. And it's right now it's like six episodes a season. So if that increases, then that's going to take up more of my time. Or if my character gets a little bit more developed, like I'm a, I'm a series regular, I would say, but I'm not in every single episode. So that doesn't take up too much of my time, but I can see it growing, especially when I watched season one. Um, and then I started to watch season two. Just everything is just enhanced. Everything is just funnier. The show is so well written. Um, and I'm just really proud of the team and of the show. Um, why am I not encouraging you to watch this show? Well, I am. I'm encouraging some of you to watch this show for sure, but I just have to be perfectly honest. It's on a network called SwearNet. Um, so there is a lot of like cursing and a lot of like drama and it's just probably not for everyone. If you're a fan of like drag queens and swear words and family drama and the Cape Breton accent, then you might really love the show. So I will leave a link in the description box below. You do have to sign up for a membership for SwearNet. Oh, what was that? Um, but it was, it's only like $2.50 a month or something like that. Or you can buy the year for $25. Don't quote me on those prices, but it's it's not very expensive. And then you would get to see the episodes. And there's also like a podcast on there. It's called Tracy and Martina Dirty Deeds. That's the show. And the podcast is called Shooting the Shit with Tracy and Martina. So it's, it's interesting. Um, but anyway, that's all I have to say about that. My son Wilson, and I'm just going to touch on this because he was in my very first video. My son Wilson, who was a baby in my first YouTube video, turned six yesterday and that is just that just blows my mind how much time has gone by since I started this channel it's crazy so he turned six and then my second son Hank who a lot of you were with me on my like fertility journey like struggling trying to have a second baby and just that seemed like that was yesterday and he is turning three next month um so it's just crazy it's just crazy how quickly time goes by um I'm going to try to get them involved maybe in my next video so you guys can have a gawk at them. But anyway, before I wrap up this video, because I didn't want it to be too long, there is one last thing that I wanted to touch on, and that is like the fitness related stuff. So I did a series of fitness related videos, and the reason I made them is because I felt like I had a lot of practical tips for people who are busy um, as far as like your eating habits go and exercising and like not doing too much and you know how to get your energy back. I made a bunch of videos about that and I was actually really passionate about those videos and I take the advice that I gave in those videos very seriously and I just want to update you guys and tell you that I'm still pretty much doing all of the things that I talked about in those videos. I've been slacking on a few things but for the most part I still feel very fit um, and healthy and really just happy about the way I'm eating. I'm really happy about the amount that I'm exercising and that I'm just exercising in my house for the most part. Um, so if you watch those videos and you're kind of wondering what the update is on those videos, the update is that it's just still working. There is nothing cool or sexy or like new about any of the information I gave in those videos. It's just all very practical and it's all the things that I actually do. And I feel like I'm in crazy good shape 
especially for somebody who's going to be turning 40 next year. I lost about 35 pounds, um, but the goal wasn't to lose weight. The goal was just to be as healthy and have as much energy as possible and to start moving my body and feeling really fit, and that has worked really well. I will talk about the things that I've been slacking on right now, right quick, and then I'll wrap it up. So in the first video, I talked about getting my energy back. One of the things that I did was I got rid of my social media apps on my phone. I find I'm slipping, especially now that I have two phones. So I have like my work phone and my personal phone. When we're doing promotional material for the series, I had Instagram back on my phone because I was making posts to encourage people to watch the show, etc. And I would want to read comments and stuff. So I put Instagram back on my phone um, and I'm selling hockey tickets for my son's hockey. So like I had, uh, Facebook Messenger on my phone so that I could like sell hockey tics, b tickets basically through Messenger. So uh, that was kind of a slippery slope and I found that I was going back into my old habits and I did start feeling again like there was not enough time in the day. I was on my phone all the time. I did start to feel more tired. So even though I kind of messed up and I had a few months where I was doing really poorly in that aspect, I have gone back to taking the social media apps off of my phone and just having it on my computer, which I think is more than enough. The next thing that I did was that I quit drinking alcohol and just full disclosure, and you know I'm a very open person, I did not quit alcohol because I was an alcoholic. I do have a lot of alcoholism in my family. Um, I quit alcohol more so for health and fitness related reasons and because I was just doing unnecessary drinking. I was just drinking out of habit and again, you drink, then you're hung over the next day, you're kind of down in the dumps, like it's like a vicious cycle and I was just trying to get rid of all of that for my life. So since last February, so almost a year, I probably had like a couple of drinks. And again, if you're watching this and you struggle with alcoholism, this is not something I recommend. I don't recommend quitting but letting yourself have a couple of drinks every once in a while. Like that, I don't think is good for you. I'm not an expert on this, so please do not take my suggestions to heart really or compare my situation to yours. All I'm saying is that I'm still, I would say, 95% a non alcohol drinker um, and I am proud of that I think it's really good for your general overall health and you save money I just think that it is great and also I can be the designated driver so my friends can go out and drink alcohol so <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say about that but I've been really good with that um, one of the things I did in that video was that I stopped drinking coffee first thing in the morning. So I tried to limit my caffeine a little bit and I started drinking coffee more towards noon time. And I really felt like that completely changed like that afternoon slump where you'd like feel pretty good after you had your coffee in the morning. And then at like one, two o'clock in the afternoon, you'd start to crash. Um, and that worked really, really well for me. But then... I started drinking coffee first thing in the morning again because in the morning I'd make a pot of coffee for my husband. He has no desire to give up coffee in the morning. So then every other day I'd be having a coffee in the morning and then I kind of got back into that habit. Um, so I feel like I'm kind of back to feeling tired around two or three o'clock in the afternoon. So it is my goal to go back to my drinking my coffee starting at noon time, drink water, drink warm water, drink something uncaffeinated in the morning. I swear to God, it makes a big difference and it was awesome while it lasted but nobody's perfect and I didn't stick to that one. As far as the exercising and eating healthy, I 100% stuck to it. Do you know why? Because there's no freaking rules. I'm just trying to exercise a little bit every day. I'm not going hardcore. You guys know I teach spinning like once a week. I would consider that like a really tough workout for 45 minutes and I'm teaching. But other than that workout, I'm just doing little workouts. I'm taking my dog for a walk for 35 minutes. I'm doing a, a workout video in my basement because I have a big mirror down there. I'm doing something every other day. I try not to have any hang-ups. If I go a couple of days and I miss it, I'm not hard on myself. I just go back to it. Um, and that has been going really well and I feel really fit. And I feel like I keep bragging about that. <laughs> but I just 
if you're watching this video, I really hope that you get something out of it. And maybe it is that you're inspired to exercise and feel really good. So the exercising has been great. The eating, amazing. Because again, there's no like rules. I didn't try to eliminate anything. I'm not eating like super low calorie. I'm not eating like no carbs or trying to cut out sugar or eat clean or do anything that's difficult to sustain. I just kind of figured out roughly how many calories I should eat a day, roughly, and I try to stick to that. Again, without being hard on myself. And it's easier for somebody like me who doesn't have a problem with disordered eating. And the only reason I talk about that is because I don't want everybody watching this to be like, well, if that's easy for Susie, that should be easy for me. No, I don't think anything is necessarily easy for everybody in the same way because everybody is different. And no matter who is watching this, I do think that it is much easier to maintain something that isn't as restrictive. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. But that's been going really well. I've been able to maintain my weight, not that that's that important, What's important is that I feel really great. Um, and so that's been going really well. So that's all I'm gonna talk about in today's video. I'm actually on my lunch break. I didn't even clean my house. Normally I like clean up and do whatever before I shoot a video. There's like a bunch of flyers and stuff on my kitchen table. Um, and I picked a Pikachu toy off the floor so you couldn't see that. But other than that, uh, you get what you get and you don't get upset. Sorry about the straight hair. Um, I can't believe how gray I am getting. The only thing that I kind of like about my gray hair is that, um, and my mom's hair is the same, it's like, it's like evenly distributed throughout my hair. Uh, so my hair will still look dark, I just kind of have like gray streaks. I don't think I'm going to keep them though, I think I'm probably going to color my hair again. What do you think? Should I go light? Should I go dark? What should I do? I don't know, let me know. Anyways, if you have any questions or comments about this video, if you want to chit chat with me about anything, or if you have any ideas for more videos, please let me know in the comment section below. If there's ever anything that you want to chit chat about that you don't feel comfortable posting there, you can always email me. My email is itscurlysusie at gmail.com. That's my channel related email. And I can't say that I look at it every day, but I probably look at it once a week. Um, so you can message me on there. You can give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and a big old thumbs down if you don't like it. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you very soon in my next gel related video. Bye.